what was wrong last night basically and uh, we lost the game and next two game is do or die match because of if you want to qualify the second round then you have to win the game otherwise no way what is the team mood now look obviously the guys are very disappointed um with last night's performance um i thought for the first 13 or 14 overs we bowled fantastically well when we had them um 50 for 6 and i think then we made a few errors um which got them into a score which was competitive um then didn't start well with a bat dug ourselves into a bit of a hole got back into it needed 18 10 two wickets down and then just made some mistakes again so look there were some positives but obviously everybody bitterly disappointed with the with the way the result went and we know that we've got our work cut out tomorrow uh, Amman playing good cricket they positive they're the home nation they want to get into the big into the next round so we know it's going to be a, another tough one for us tomorrow night but boys know that if they play their best cricket we'll we'll have a good chance tomorrow hi russell hi. here Hi. For you personally, uh, how, how do you define the defeat? I mean, how did it come to you? Like just as a shock or disappointment or surprise or anything else maybe? Look, I, as, as, as a coach, you, you never take any win for granted. So um, al al although we're bitterly disappointed with, with the result, that's the nature of the game. It's the nature of cricket and it's the nature of coaching. It's the nature of sport. If we knew what the result was going to be, we wouldn't come and watch. Um, so I think as a coach, you've got to be able to deal with it. You've got to make sure that you focus on the next game now and not let the mistakes you make yesterday be repeated tomorrow. Uh, we've got to talk about it, learn from it, but we've then got to move forward into tomorrow's game because tomorrow's game is what's ahead of us, what's done is done. There's nothing we can do about it. We've just got to learn from those mistakes and focus on tomorrow's game. Hi, Russell. Hi. Uh, Oman is, uh, Oman, uh, the Oman team is now in very good spirit. They already uh, beaten uh, the PNG team and uh, they are playing in their home ground. So do you think how tough it will be to beat them? Um, I think uh, the, uh, the Bangladesh team may be, uh, you, you have to define, if they uh, took Scotland team very lightly and do you uh, going to do the same against Oman? Well, firstly, we didn't take Scotland lightly. I know Scotland's lost game against Bangladesh, they beat Bangladesh as well, so there's, there was by no means a level of uh, complacency going into yesterday's game. Uh, regarding tomorrow's game, we've got to show Oman great respect, but we've also got to back ourselves that we, if we play to our potential that we can beat them. We know that they're going to, they are confident, they're playing at home, um, they've come off a good win, um, but the, we can't focus on them, we've got to make sure we focus on our particular performance and our skills and our goals that we want to set for tomorrow's game. And, I think that's where our main focus is at the moment, very much on ourselves, on, on our team, where we need to improve, uh, and not so much in our position. Coach, we, we couldn't capitalize uh, the power play in the last two home series, and same scene we have seen here in the last matches, we couldn't capitalize the power play. So uh, how do you uh, think about that? Why, why is the problem actually, the, especially the openers or the top order batsmen? Look, I, I don't think you can compare um, playing in Dakar's power plays to these power plays. Uh, totally different. The average score here for a power play is between 40 and 45, so it's not that high as well. Um, I looked at some of the warm-up games we played around um, in Dubai and Abu, Dhabi, and Abu Dhabi as well. All teams seem to have struggled in the power play, so I don't think it's those 50, 60 round power plays. I do think here... Yeah, Wickets in hand are important. If you can set up a good base, get to 35, 45 in the first six, that allows you to launch at the back end. Um, but we've got, to, we've got to address the power play a bit better than we have. Uh, we've made a few mistakes, errors in judgment, played a few shots we maybe shouldn't have played, then stop playing shots when maybe we should be playing shots. So we need to find that right balance between attack and defence in the first six hours because you don't want to be too defensive, but you also can't afford to be too attacking. So it's just finding that right balance at the moment that's important for us. Hi, Russell. Hi. Uh, last night, Mahmoudullah said uh, if it's needed, the batting order would be reshuffled because Saifuddin, till Saifuddin, there are batsmen. So what do you think? Do you guys have any thought of reshuffling the batting order? Look, I'm always a fan of having a, a left hand and right hand uh, at, at the wicket. Um, so we, we will look at our batting lineup tomorrow to try and have different types of players batting at the same time, not maybe similar types of players. Um, 
So it's something we have discussed a bit more in depth and, and something we'll possibly look to do tomorrow. Might not be major changes, but there might be one or two tweaks to the batting lineup. As, as you've seen in the series against uh, Australia and New Zealand, our, our batting lineup particularly was pretty flexible. We often used a fifth sometimes at five, then sometimes at seven, sometimes show one at five. Um, so it just depends very much on the situation and the bowlers that are bowling at the moment. Uh, hi, Russell. Hi. Yeah. So when Bangladesh played against Australia and New Zealand in home, there was a criticism that uh, batting practice was not good enough, the way the batsmen went on on those two series. And do you think that the preparation-wise, from batting perspective, uh, we we are falling behind a bit? Way? No, I, I don't think so. I don't think, I don't think any batsman walks out to the wicket thinking about what they felt like six weeks ago when they played in in Bangladesh. Because we've had really good preparation. Yeah, we've had a few warm-up games and good pitches. Um, so players are coming here in, in, with a good mindset. I, I don't think what's happened in the last three or four weeks. Uh, or the law of three or four weeks ago and those wickets has any bearing as to what's happening at the moment. So no, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with it. Uh, hi, coach. Hi. Uh, yeah, hi. At the middle, mid off. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, obviously, uh, f first game was also a pressure game for Bangladesh and uh, they went on to lose the game. Uh, the next game against Oman will be a lot more pressure match for everyone. How you uh, Talk to your team, like how to overcome this pressure situation. Like Bangladesh often breaks down whenever there's extra pressure, and winner lose situation is pretty much go out to and play your own game. What are the areas you think you need to work on as a team to cope up to this pressure? And do you believe that the boys also has the belief that they can go on to the Super 12 stage from this situation? So first part of the question is what do we focus on? I think really important in big games is to do your basic disciplines well. Um, you don't need to be too fancy, try and play. Um, you don't need to do anything spectacular. You just need to make sure you nail your basics, have guys bat through the innings, make sure you're rotating strike, uh, making sure you give your bowlers something to bowl at when you do bat. If you do those basics well and focus on that, often you, you are able to, to do well in pressure situations. Regarding the second question, definitely the boys are, are confident that we can still get through here. Um, I have great belief in the boys. They've played some really tight games over the last year and have come out on top. So I think the boys are, are, are full of belief that we can overcome Oman tomorrow and overcome Papua New Guinea the next game and, and put ourselves in a position where we can still qualify for, for the main event in a few weeks' time. So I don't have any questions regarding their self-belief going into tomorrow's game. Hey, Russell. Hello. How are you doing? Uh, just a question about opening partnership. Uh, Naim played 16 straight games before the World Cup, but uh, he was dropped in the first match. You guys are preparing him for the big event, but he's not in the first match. How do you explain that selection? Yeah, look, it was, it was a very difficult decision, and, and Shomo played yesterday because we were so... Riyad Mamadula couldn't bowl. We didn't have a, a sixth bowling option except for a fifth. And we thought if there's a bit of dew around and the ball's difficult for the, for the spinners to grip, we might need somebody else to bowl some seam. Shomo was the guy that was earmarked to do that, and that's the only reason he played yesterday. Naim has been fantastic for us, but we needed another bowling option with Mamadula Riyad not being able to bowl with these back niggles he's had. So um, Mamadula's fit um, and should be able to bowl, should need be tomorrow, so we can get Naim back into the starting eleven. And one thing about the three senior batters, they are bet betting at 110 and 100 distracted. How do you explain that? Do you think th them as the liabilities in terms of betting in the middle overs? Who, who, who is this? Saqib, Mushfiq and Mahmudullah. They are not firing at the moment as a batsman. I, you, you can never uh, say that they are liabilities. They are world-class players. Uh, they know that maybe yesterday they didn't play to the levels that they normally used to playing to. But the champion cricketers for Bangladesh, and um, I've I've no um, I've no reason to question their quality or their capabilities in this particular format. It was just a few weeks ago, Riyadh won us games um, chasing against Australia and New Zealand. So I think very unfair to criticise them after one performance. Yes, sir. So I repeat it. I forgot what I said now. No, I just said, I said they've been world-class players for Bangladesh a couple of weeks ago. Riyadh was winning us games at the bat against Australia. So 
Um, for sure, they know they didn't probably bat at their best level yesterday. Riyad hasn't played a warm-up game, so maybe a little bit rusty. Um, but I can never question their, their quality when it comes to this particular format. I know there's big performances around the corner from them. Okay. Yesterday game, maximum batters got out uh, by catch. Uh, they tried to play overhead short. This was the planning for your team to uh, play big shot and got out. No, you got to play shots. So we got. <laughs> if you don't play shots, you're not going to get runs. So, um, unfortunately, that's the nature of the game in T20 cricket. If uh, everybody knew how to get runs every single time, everybody would get 200. But the game doesn't work like that. The guys are human. They're going to make mistakes. They're not robots. Nobody's perfect. Uh, I think as long as we're learning from those mistakes and we're trying to improve, that's the main thing for us. So. Everybody makes mistakes. Nobody does it on purpose. Nobody hits a ball in the air on purpose to get caught. They're just trying their best. Some days it works, some days it doesn't. Thank you, Mo. I appreciate okay. it. Um, Zoom questions. Uh, Anurup, are you there? Good evening, Coach. Hello, sir. Uh, my question is that uh, Bangladesh is playing the second night game. So, you were chasing yesterday and uh, you, your plans didn't work properly and it got in the, in the end it will accumulate too much runs to take. So what will be the strategy if you win the toss against Oman? <laughs> I can't tell you that because in Oman will know. Uh, look, end of the day, we need to see what conditions are like tomorrow. We know that there's been a lot of dew around. There was dew again last night. Um, so bowling does become a little bit harder when the ball's wet and the outfield's wet, but we'll... Uh, Assess tomorrow once we have a look at the pitch and once you've seen what the wicket does in the first game before us tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon. Uh, any lineup batting change? Excuse me, sir. Any change, any change in the batting lineup? Yeah, there will be one change tomorrow, but we'll announce that um, when we get to the ground tomorrow. Ruben, your okay. question, please. Yeah, no, thanks. Uh, am I Shaka Ruben? Ruben, are you there? Coach, do you think that... Uh, yeah, I am there. Coach, do you think that uh, experience will help you to win against Roman? Absolutely. Um, I'm expecting my, my, my big players, my senior players, in terms of Mushi, Shakib, Riyad, to lead the side really well tomorrow. Um, it's in games like this where you need those big players to stand up, and I've no doubt those guys will put in a big performance tomorrow. So, um, yep, I'm backing them to put in a big, uh, a big shift for us tomorrow. Isam. Uh, coach, uh, do you feel that the players um, are maybe putting too much pressure on themselves uh, trying to perform against, uh, you know, these teams? I mean, I'm not, you know, denigrating these teams, but I'm um, just saying that maybe they are trying to put too much uh, pressure on themselves. And do you think they're enjoying this phase? Look, as we chatted about, whenever you come to World Cups, there's always massive pressure, uh, particularly uh, a cricket-loving nation like Bangladesh, where every performance gets scrutinized, every mistake gets magnified. Um, so players are under pressure, there's no doubt about it, but um, that's, that's why they play for the country, because they, they're privileged to be in this position. Um, we've got to embrace that sort of pressure. Um, and and hopefully brings the best out of the boys. Look, it's a big game for us tomorrow. We know it's a high-pressure environment, but that's why you play these games. That's why you play World Cups, because these are the type of games you want to be winning. So it's a great opportunity for the boys tomorrow. Ekush. Uh, hi, Coach. Uh, BCB president shows his disappointment about batting position, especially according to the situation. He criticized Shakib, Mushfiq, and Mahmoudullah's batting approach. What is your thought about that? <laughs> I'm not uh, here to talk about um, the president. I mean, everybody's entitled to their opinion. Um, for me, I'm not criticizing any of my players. Uh, I've got full faith in them, full belief in them. What's outside of the team, not that important to me at the moment. My focus is very much on, on my team and making sure that um, we back them 100% tomorrow to put in a big performance. Last question, uh, Haridev. Yeah. Uh Coach, uh, 
Yeah, I would just like to know if, uh, you know, what, what did you make of the shot selection uh, of Mushfikur, uh, you know, considering that, uh, you know, these kind of shots have been played in the past as well. So, uh, so given uh, all of that, uh, what did you make of that? Like, like I said earlier, um, if he hits there, it goes for four, everybody says great shot, he misses it, he gets out, everybody says poor shot. Uh, that's the nature of T20 cricket. Um, players have got to be allowed to, to make decisions on the field that they think is the best interest of the team. It's, they're not robots, they're human beings, they're going to make mistakes, they're going to get things wrong. Um, but we've got to just make sure that we learn from those mistakes and, 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 and try not to do those things too often.